Oh, there's shit here. Oh, and this may be the first one I'm not using the cork mess. I was ahead of that stone. Uh, to the one who approached this tiny beast in the name of the goddess Haya, I offer this trial. In exchange for Namboris' aimlings, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely the world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. This is a realm was created from the depths of your memory. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. Oh, I didn't even read that diary. <laughs> uh, okay, this may be for the last part. Do I have Robust's Fury loaded? Okay, two. I don't think this matters much. And, and no problem. Oh. Okay, this doesn't matter. The problem I'll be facing with. With durability. Damn, and that is probably what I shouldn't do. Okay, now I'm gonna abuse the pattern. Okay, this one out. Oh. 
Oh, okay. It's not that hard. He feels that. This is. Okay. I never passed the Battle of the Champions on Master Mode before. I found some, I searched a bit and found that this and the Trial of the Sword are the hardest beats. The Trial of the Sword will probably be, I'll do that Saturday. But. Wave through Boss's Fury is easy, quite fast. Hmm. Are still adrift in thought? You seem lost to the whims of your mind. Oh, pardon me, I suppose it's not my business. Uh, wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Robosa was truly in has truly invigorated me. In fact, it was so ins it has inspired me to honor her in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to root here near the Divine Beast for an Avoris, which your boss herself mastered. Mm. Okay, I'm reading a song to try to capture the essence of Champion Robosa. Recall the Burst's champion of Saint. Before she was lost to the land. Chief Robosa's heart was strong. So the princess came along. Princess of Hyrule, I accept your proposition without hesitation. Not only are they planning to resurrect Calamity Ganon, it seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. You have my word. I won't rest until the Calamity falls. Gerudo Chief Obosa, on behalf of Hyrule and its king, I thank you. <laughs> I've never seen you so serious, Urbosa. Oh my. <laughs> I can't say the same. Ten years ago, you rarely smiled, my little bird. Urbosa, I feel like you've called me Little Bird before. I was wondering where you got that name from. Huh? Halt and face me! Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. Do your worst. <laughs> <laughs> Respect for our princess, you may keep your lives. Now go! <sighs> <sighs> you asked me why I call you Little Bird. Huh? When you were but a small child, my dear friend called you that with the sweetest smile that ever graced our land of Hyrule. You mean mother? It was ten long years ago. Your mother had just left this world, yet her little bird still spread her wings and became the beacon of light Hyrule needed. <laughs> Sometimes I forget myself and get lost in the past.
Hey, what's up? Oh. Uh, so she was a fierce warrior. The girl chief was also a loving friend to Alharus Princess. Mm. So, what do you think of Champion Robasa's song? By writing a song that honors the heart of Champion Robasa, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Oh. The missing verses of the, an ancient song. I think the perfect setting would be Haru Castle in the distant past. Now I must say, you are an impressive bow. You may now wield Urbosa's fury far more often. You are the pride of Hyrule, hero. Take care of our princess. I'm leaving that honor in your capable hands. Robasa's first plus. Champion Robasa's divine gift summons a powerful lightning to the surrounding area. Triggers with charge attack by holding Y. It now requires less time to recharge. I am a Scotia. I must command you for conquering the trial thus far. The door to the final trial is now open at the shrine of the resurrection. Go and face your destiny. I mean, I know where the shrine of resurrection is. Uh, let me just check her diary because I forgot. Actually, there's a bench there. I think I'm reading it upside down. Oh no, this is uh, religious. I've read this one already. What was the last page? It has returned to us. It seems a sneak of my family heirloom, the tender helm. I want to simply lend to him without a thought, but it is incredibly valuable to myself and our people. Couldn't just hand it over, so I asked him to help with the minor problems playing the town. It's funny, I used to spend a lot of my time worrying about my people or my ability to lead. Now I look forward to each and every day, I think this year will help with that. Well, I actually have most of your people's problems, haven't I? Maybe one day here I can compete in a Saint Seal race, I enjoy that. Oh, there could be some like Saint Seal World Cup something in that next game. Uh, read your boss's diary, first page. My dear friend from afar came to visit Gerudo Town today. It is always a pleasure to see the Queen of Hyrule. She described her reason for coming as urgent. She wished for me to meet her newborn child. Her sweet daughter's name Zelda. She has her mother's smile. I cannot help but cherish her already. They never mention her name. And if her name was also Zelda, then I suppose she would mention here. I told her that Zelda is sure to grow up into a dignified, beautiful queen, just like her mother. My friend thanked me, but said that looks are fleeting, so she won't be a dignified and beautiful <laughs> queen. And instead, wishes for Zelda to be blessed with true happiness. And the way she gazes upon her daughter, her little bird, as she calls it, her. I have never seen such unconditional love. It has been a long while since we laid my dear friend the queen to rest. I only now have the will to write again. It was so sudden, I still can't believe it, she's gone. All of my sweet memories of her keep running through my mind. Even now, I can hardly keep the tears at bay. 
Young Zelda kept her head held high as she said her final goodbye to her mother at the funeral. She carried herself as a true princess, but I can sense the deep grief she's holding, hiding within. I worry for her. Uh, there should be a royal graveyard or something. I made a voyage to visit Hyrule. After speaking with the king, I saw Zelda for the first time in a year. In truth, I was, it was my concern for her that brought me here. The king allowed me to keep her company as she went to the spring of her, for her train. There, Zelda prayed and prayed in the spring's icy waters until the sun set. I told her many times to stop, but she wouldn't listen. I eventually had to drag her out of the water. Zelda gazed at me for the longest time with heartbreaking vulnerability. Eventually, in a tiny voice, she told me of the pressure and panic she feels at not being able to fulfill her sacred duty. She whispered over and over, why can't I, why can't I not do as the royal daughters of the past have done? What is wrong with me? All I could do was hold her close and listen. I pray that is enough. That it is enough. Emissaries from Haru came to see me today. They informed me that I have been chosen to pilot the Divine Beast. And people are uneasy about it. They tell me such a dangerous task is not fitting for the chief. I understand their fear. However, I intend to accept this task. Calamity Ganon's resurrection does not only threaten Haru, but the whole world. I refuse to sit idly by. Ganon is also closely associated with the Gerudo, an association I deeply resent. I believe Zelda will be here soon to receive my official answer. I am excited to see her, as always. I attended the inauguration ceremony alongside the other champions whom I share a fate with. Zelda, Rivali, Mifa and Link are so young, they are Haru's future. The Rook and I hope to help them see that future. However, one thing did trouble me. Zelda was uncharacteristically cold towards Link. I can't imagine why. I hear Link has been assigned as Zelda's guardian knight. I hope they find a way to get along. Link requested to meet with me today. He tells me Zelda exploited our law that restricts men from entering town to slip away from him. I told him of a trick that, allow him, that would allow him entrance, and he was able to get in. By then, however, Zelda was long gone. I promised to let him know if I saw her, so he reluctantly returned home. Uh, in a similar yet distinct way, Link seems to have trouble expressing himself. Perhaps the two can help each other, that is, if she ever gives him the chance. Today I accompanied Zelda as she went to research Naboris. When the sun set, the poor exhausted girl drifted to sleep. I sent word to Link, who showed up at Naboris faster than I expected. Although it is none of my business, I felt the least I could do to bridge their gap was to share some things about Zelda. The rest is up to them. I'm so happy to say that Zelda smiles much more often lately. It seems she and Link have finally learned to get along. I hope this will have a positive effect on her training. However, I am concerned we may be running out of time. Whenever I hear of monster attacks or other unusual events plaguing the kingdom, my concern grows. All I can do is pray that Zelda, my little bird, has enough time. I do not pray for to the goddesses. Goddesses? Uh, oh, okay, they have like gods of saints and all uh, but to her mother my dearest friends how i miss her okay now to the plateau